some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courtroom where a uh, more soft heart is uh, being evicted from his apartment because, well, I won't spoil it for you. Actually, I will spoil it for you because he is using promissory notes to try to pay his rent. And when the judge tries to help him out on a few occasions, he pretty much slaps that hand out of his way because he doesn't need any help because he has promissory notes. They're just as good. They're IOUs. I mean, come on. So anyway, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Person just joined the call, Z855. What's your name, please? Uh... I'm here by way of more sensitive of America, Davis Bay. Okay, so we got a Fez and we got somebody who's identifying himself as Bay. So we've got ourselves another more soft tart on our hands, people. But of course, we already knew that considering I mentioned that in the intro just a few moments ago. What time was your what time was your case scheduled for? I just I was uh just got switched. I was in uh Miss uh Alicia Coleman's room. They just told me for the last half hour I was in the wrong room and they just instructed to help me find the correct room where I was supposed to be in. And your name is what again? I'm here by way of more signs to of America. We can express your parents. I am David Bay. Well, Lottie frickin' God! Oh, you're making a special appearance. Well, don't we feel very special and honored to have another uh, more soft heart making a special guest appearance in court. Now let's get on with it. David Bay? Davis Bay. I'm here representing the account here. Can I get uh, your case number? I'm sorry. Can I please yes. you have your case number, sir? Yes. It is 2034-7344. Thank you. And I was just uh, received this three days ago. But the document said it was stated September 28th. Okay, thank you, sir. To me. Pardon me? I said, thank I said, okay, thank you, sir. <clears throat> yeah, um, Your Honor? Yes. We did, That was one of Mr. Abbott's case. 344. Four. At what time? Um... It was at 940. Mm -hmm. And so, Your Honor, um, oh. I'm sorry, go ahead, Ms. Bra Ms. Is that, was that Ms. Brayley? Yes, yeah. So, I'm sorry, uh, go ahead. With uh, Mr. Abbott, were you trying to get him back here on Traxler? And now I have another one. <laughs> the gentleman was in the wrong, cake, wrong courtroom and they just sent him in here. Right. I was there for... Oh, yes, Sorry, sir, I just wanted to get hurt. So, but yes, I do need some information on Traxler, and now I need information on... Okay. So, apparently I'm Mr. Evitt's secretary this morning. Um, Traxler, he said he, sub Traxler. he submitted a... Uh, he submitted something already. Commercial consent already submitted to the court. Okay, we'll look for it. But would you? No, you're helping me out. <laughs> Call him back and tell him a defendant has shown up in what case is it, um, Miss uh, Denise? His name, the name on the um, file is Harry Davis, but he said his name is Dave, Davis Bay. 
And ladies and gentlemen, we have a man lacking in true creativity, considering that the only name he could consider was the last name of Bay, which is the family name of just about every single damn more softard that has ever graced the internet. Congratulations! You are not very creative. What is, what um, is this case number? The last th last three is um three four four. Three four four. Mm hmm. Yes. It was okay. It was scheduled at nine forty. Forty. And would you tell uh, Mr. Abbott? He's back. Mr. Abbott's oh. back. Okay. Mr. Abbott, thank you for the case of Mr. Traxler, but uh, we have a gentleman who was in the wrong courtroom and just got sent over to us. Uh, I think we adjourned it, but let's see what we might be able to do today. Um, can you give us the case number again, uh, Denise, so I can have Renee pull it up? It's, um, yes, ma'am, I sure can. Thank you. Two zero, it's two zero three four seven three four four. Okay. Thank you for coming back, Mr. Abbott. Don't leave. 20347344 Leland House versus Harry Davis. Good morning, uh, Judge. Good morning, Judge Melander. My name is James Abbott. I'm a lawyer, P26085. I represent Harry Davis's landlord, who's Leland House Apartments. We had adjourned this case to November 30th for door knockers, and now we have the defendant here. Sir, your name? Yes, I'm here by making a special appearance by way of uh, Moore Science Symbol of America, Davis Bay, for the representing the account here from your United States of America Department of State, uh, Harry Davis. Okay, Mr. Davis, uh, you're in the problem. I was just yes, I was. I was just presented these documents it says uh the dates of se september 28th and yeah, that's the i just received them out. let me ask you sir we have no i just i i just received them uh i don't receive any mailing here and i you just received them me, three sir. days ago. you don't receive mailing at the back at the back address no you're not living in the back i didn't even i didn't even know uh, mail was there for me anything. Two or three days me, ago, it was taken to the door. Let me ask a couple of questions, sir. Do you live at 400 Bagley, 1120? Apartment? 1120, yes. So you do live at Bagley? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Are you interested in having one of our free attorneys help you through this? Well, uh, Your Honor, uh, that might be the most beneficial thing he could get out of this case, but uh, I don't think he's intelligent enough to accept your offer, and I don't think he's intelligent enough to get through this case without one. So due to his more sovereignty and pride, he's going to try to get through this case pro se, which is going to make him... Look like a complete dumbass. So that's a long-winded way of saying, no, he doesn't need one. He's just going to wing it. I uh, know. Okay. Uh, well, and what is it you're asking? You want to stay in the apartment or you want to move or what? Yes, I want to stay. Okay. I, uh, uh, I uh, have proof of my tender of payment for rent. That was sent by way of a uh, uh, certified mail from the United States Post Office. And when did that go? Uh, the first proof of payment was July 16th. The second was the 13th of September. The one for July 15th, uh, uh, July 16th, it was for the month of June, July, and August. Well, sir, I think After that, 
Until After that, and that one that one was, was in the amount of eighteen seventy five, including part. Hey, we the got next one from Terry Davis uh, on the line here. Okay, I'm gonna put you from on. September. Mr. Eric, I can't Mr. hear him. Okay. Hold on. Let me ask this, Mr. Uh, Bay. Um, I know you said you're not interested in one of our attorneys, but we have uh, some uh, programs that would help you pay your rent and even pay your rent, your back rent, but pay your rent, uh, say, November and maybe even December. It's called the Eviction Diversion Program. Okay, how, 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 would, how would that work and dissolve my proof of payment and everything that has already occurred? Mr. Abbott will send the attorney. Hold on, sir. Mr. Abbott, the plaintiff's attorney, would send the attorney I assigned to you proof of what they paid, what they received. You'll then send your proof of what you paid, and then what's left, we can maybe have the eviction diversion program make some payments for you. Uh, uh, no, no, thank you, please. Um, uh, what now? Uh, are you that damn stupid? Uh, the judge is giving you a way out of this particular situation, and you're saying no? Why the hell are you doing this? I mean, do you think it's some sort of trap that they're trying to put you in because some more... The uh, guru said it was or something like that. I mean, this is an opportunity for you to get back on track. And yet you're spitting in the face of the courtroom because of this. Uh, wow, you are a moron. Uh, Do you want the state of Michigan to make some payments for you? No. No. I've been making my own payments. Yes, I've, I've been making my own payments. And... No. Uh, the, the proof, the proof of, uh, payments that I have, the, the, uh, the second one after the first one that I mentioned, um, was made on the 13th of September. And that was for which month? For, that was for the 13th of September in the amount of, uh, 575 without the parking because it was already included. For and the first one. That? After that, the uh, what me? month did that cover? Excuse me, can I uh, say something? That month was no. that, uh, that month was that month was September thirteenth. It was for the month of September, okay. five seventy five, not including the parking because the parking was was taken care of the month prior. And then, and, uh, then the next payment. You made? And the next one. Yes, the next one, I have proof of payment, proof of, I have tender payment for October 13th. Cheryl, you'll get a chance, okay. Notarized and sent by, notified, and, speak, notified okay. and sent by certified mail, notified and sent by certified mail uh, from United States Post Office for the month of October in amount of 575 and also including Okay, hold on a second. Mr. Abbott. Your Honor. Did you receive, did your client receive these payments? Cheryl? No, he, what he's doing is he's sending us promissory notes that, oh. uh... Wait a second, wait a second. So you're sending promissory notes in lieu of actual payments? Are you out of your bloody mind, dude? Now, no wonder you're being evicted. So essentially, uh, you probably don't have any money because you're flat broke and just getting by on promissory notes, uh, which isn't exactly working out for you. And the judge has just given you a way out and you're not taking it. Uh, yeah, uh, you're an even bigger moron than I th originally thought. We have no idea what to do with. The bank says they're not, not negotiable. And this is what he's been giving us, is promissory uh. notes 
uh, notarized. I see. Um, okay. And the parking lot is not the one. I understand. Uh, Mr. Bay? Hold on, I got I you. Mr. Bay, uh, I understand what you're sending is promissory notes, and unfortunately, in uh, landlord tenant matters, those are not payments of rent. It's just a promissory yes. note, and we cannot accept that. And the client, That's your are you are you, are you telling me that even are you telling me that even a court is not does not accept promissory notes for payments? No, we're and I'm not. the executor. I, I'm the executor. That is not a legal payment. That is not it's, a legal payment for rent to this. Company. That's as good as money, sir. Those are IOUs. Go ahead and add it up. Every cent's accounted for. Look. See this? That's a car. 275000 Might want to hang on to that one. Now, are you sure then you don't want to talk to one of our attorneys and get your rent paid by a state of Michigan program? If it will resolve this, would it will resolve this? Well, it depends on how much you owe and how much the plan is willing to pay of yours. Well, I've made tender of payments. They are negotiable instruments, certified with, by law. Those are not payments. Sir. And I am the and excuse, excuse me, please. I am the executor and the beneficiary of the account for Harry Davis. Are you what per you're your, those per, are not per legal per your, per, They are legal tender. No, they are legal not, tender. You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Uh, no, they are not legal tender, you dumbass. Soft hard. Uh, you just can't uh, waltz your way through life on IOUs, especially when it comes to rent. <laughs> and, they and, they and, they and they stated and they're notified to the fact also. I'm sorry, they're not... In Ms. Is Ms. Fadipe working with us today? In a, it is very, it is very true. Is Mr. Fadipe in another courtroom? In the, Mr. Who? Is it, what's his there. name? Uh, Fadipe. Fadipe. I don't hear you, man. I am not sure who you're talking about. Can you chat me the name so I can see it? Oh, sorry about that. Mr. Abbott, can you chat her the name? Maybe he's a, he's with a Lakeshore, right? It, it given that I have no idea who you're talking about, I suspect what? he's with Lakeshore. What's the name again, Yana? What'd you say? What'd you say? Felipe. The last name is Felipe. Um. Oh, I know you're talking about. Um. I'm not Maybe sure if he's. With, no, I know exactly who you're talking about, but I don't know if he's with. Um. I, I think exactly. he'd be a great attorney to handle this case. That's a. Um, well, by all means, Your Honor. <laughs> um, if it, Mr. I don't Mr. know if Abbott. Cooper would know. I don't have his number handy. I I know who he is, obviously, but I don't have his number handy. Mister Miss Cooper. Ms. Yes, Cooper? Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Does uh, Mr. Fadipe work with you guys? The name does not sound familiar, but I'm fairly new with the organization. I can let me see if I can find out for you. Because if he could come help us today, that would be great. Okay, hold on, please. I'll I'll see if I can find out. And if somebody could chat how to spell it, I can look up to see as well. S A D I Fadipe. Attorney Jay, do you know uh, if, uh, Attorney Fadipe? I think I, yeah, he is from uh, Lakeshore. I can message him now. Would you please? Yes, ma'am. And tell him I really could use his help. He okay. might not like me afterwards, but. Let me see. Another... Does he have a case right now? No, he doesn't, but I'd sure like to sign him one. Uh, okay. 
I'm messaging him now. He may not like me afterward, but such is life. Miss oh. Cooper's <laughs> trying to find him also. Uh, it says uh, he's away from his desk, so. Let's see. Yeah, it says he's away from his desk. I messaged him, but no, no response yet. Mr. Bay, we're gonna hold on a minute and see if we can get this attorney to help you out, okay? He wasn't scheduled with me today, but um, he'd be great to work with you. Uh, yeah, good idea, Your Honor. Uh, this moron sure could use all the help he could get but uh, I don't think he'd want it anyway because he's already refused it one other time and because he thinks he knows everything. I mean, this promissory note issue alone is just further proof that he thinks he knows how to get away with everything. Uh, Mr. Abbott, hang on there, okay? To work with, did you say to work with me? To be your attorney. No, I'm not asking for counsel. Well, that is ultimately your decision, but it is a piss poor decision in the end. Good luck. But as I said, if you want the state to pay your rent, you have to have one of our attorneys work with you. Would it resolve and accept the tender payments that are certified sort of, sort of negotiable instruments? Excuse me. The state would pay that a are portion. certified. This. That are certified negotiable instruments that I pay. That are certified. I'm trying to tell you. Well, your United States. Madam Clerk, in the state of Michigan, in the city of Detroit, does not accept that as payment for rent. Okay. I'm by, by June 5th, 1933. I want to ask you. Is the United States still in bankruptcy? In Michigan no. also? Objection. Yes, we are. Irrelevant. By law. <laughs> yes, Mr. we are. Bay. By law. Let me try to tell you this again. Uh, yeah, dude, you're almost a century out of date on that. The Great Depression ended many, many years ago. I know at one point in time, folks would accept those things. However, we no longer accept them. The state of Michigan and the city of Detroit will no longer accept that. I'm trying to help you out by getting a portion of your rent paid through our EDP program, but you don't seem to be interested in having it. So why okay. don't you just I didn't this? have time to I didn't have time to prepare myself or anything for this. It was just presented to me, but the dates on these documents say twenty eighth and every the last one for uh it says the twenty eighth of September and I just received it three days Very ago. Very good. That's why I'm gonna keep the adjournment date is Excuse that me, is that Excuse enough me, lawful Excuse time? Me, sir. Is, is that enough lawful Excuse time? Excuse me, sir. If you let me speak, I'm going to help you out here. We can adjourn it to November 30th okay. at 8:40 a.m. and that will give you time. How about that? Your Honor, uh, Mr. Felipe will be in your courtroom yes, it would. next week. So we'll adjourn I, it to November I could, 30th. I could do November 30th. I could do November 30th. Yes, I could. November 30th at 8:40 a.m. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. And Thank you, Cheryl. And well, now, there you have it, folks. I mean, uh, a prime example of how, well, these more soft hearts tend to be quite undereducated and, uh, well, downright uh, dishonest when they're... Uh, dealings with the court. I mean, promissory notes. He thought he could pay his rent with promissory notes based on a law that was passed right around the time of the Great Depression to help people out. Bear in mind, the Great Depression ended 
in the late 30s, early 40s. I mean, come on now. But hey, stupid is as stupid does, and this guy was incredibly stupid and probably still is incredibly stupid to this day. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.